Hey, what's up everybody? It's Freddy. I'm here with Dylan. We're at Nautical Ventures in Dania Beach, and today we're checking out the new Hobie Compass. Uh, it's actually, I'm a little bit late to the boat. It's not super new, but it's, it's the newest one. Um, Dylan here is a professional at all things kayak related, um, in particular Hobie. Um, he's a certified Hobie specialist. Think, I'd say a, so. Is that I went thing? to school. He did go to Hobie school. So, um, aside from having fantastic dreads and being in the most dope band in Southern Florida, he's gonna, he's gonna t tell you a little bit about the Hobie uh, Compass. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give him the floor and we're just gonna kind of go through this kayak and uh, hang out yeah. together at Nautical Ventures. <laughs> so, uh, newest to the Hobie fleet, the Compass. Um, I think they wanted to, you know, the boats get more expensive every year and uh, they put this one at a nice price range, you know, you're at 1949 for the boat, whereas, you know, all the other fishing kayaks are a little more expensive. Comes with everything you need uh, to get out and fish with just purchasing the boat. Um, you know, you've got some bow storage. Uh, you do get the normal Mirage Drive. Now that's the GT. Yeah, this is the GT with the SD yeah. fins. Uh, it doesn't have the reverse, but you don't necessarily always need that. So <clears throat> it's a nice starter kit. Um, also, you know, you do have the Hobie H tracks here so you can mount rod holders. It's Lowrance ready. So if you want to put a fish finder on it, it's all ready to do that. You've got standard storage. Um, you know, moving back to the seat, they did change the seat for this one a little bit but it's nice and comfortable, fully adjustable. Uh, comes right out of the boat easy for when you're transporting it. Um, got these sweet reflectors here in case you get into traffic. <laughs> yeah, they've got reflectors on, they've got <laughs> reflectors on everything. Just in which, case you get into traffic on your, uh, on your way to the fish. It doesn't yeah. seem important until uh, you're out really early or really late in the boat, which you could, know, make, could make a difference. It Indeed. comes in handy, yeah. believe it or not. For uh, sure. With that being said, uh, transducer mount underneath as well. So like I said, Lowrance ready. Um, a really cool feature, they changed the knob on this one and the rudder is actually underneath the boat. Uh, a lot of guys would complain uh, with the Outback in particular, the rudder actually hangs off and when a fish goes around you, you know, your line kind of gets snagged mm -hmm. on that, so. Also when you're carrying it, it can be a pain in the butt because yep. the rudder is all like in your knuckles and. Yeah, yeah, I know I, I used to have an Outback too, and that was like one of my biggest, the handle plus the rudder on the top of yeah. it. It's a good design, off. just not when you're carrying it around. Yeah, it's uh, kind of cool that this new rudder is a lot like the um, the PA, right? It's, it's sort of similar to the PA, where it kind of tucks under the, in between the two sort of pontoons. Yeah, it's underneath, so <clears throat> you know when it is up, you're not gonna snag it on anything. Pops right up into the boat, so Nice and easy, and there is a little drag skeg underneath there as well. So if you do have to drag it a little bit, it's not gonna, you know, damage your kayak. Uh, that's kind of the great right. thing about it. You, you know, you're not you're not drilling any holes in this boat to upgrade. You've got everything you need ready to go. Uh, behind the seat, you got two rod holders already in there, and a lot of storage in the back where you could put a live well, fish bag. Uh, I've seen people go out with their dogs. You know, small kids huge capacity on these boats. So only 68 pounds, just about anyone can pick them up, so. Does it come with this square or this rectangular hatch or is that an upgrade? No, that's an upgrade. So um, these boats all come with a circular hatch. Uh, what a lot of people do is they have a larger pro angler square hatch and we'll put that in there and then take the round hatch and put it up under the bow. So that'll give you a little bit more storage for you know longer trips and things like that. And it's a nice, big hatch there, so. So out of the box, it does or doesn't have that front hatch? It doesn't have that front hatch. Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking this center hatch that's round, mm -hmm. moving it forward, and then replacing that with the PA hatch. Yeah, I mean, why waste cool. not, yeah. want not. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a spot for it and- uh, Throw it on there. It works well, so, you know, and. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then um, some bungees here, like standard bungees. Now these are gray, these are cooler than the black ones that come on every other thing else. Yeah, they um, color coded them, so they're, yeah, these they're are a cool. lot cooler looking everywhere on the boat. Um, they've, got gonna... a few, they've got a few other colors as well. If you don't like the slate, I, I like to be seen. They have a seagrass color, which is almost like a really light chartreuse, which, hmm. I mean, when you're out, you know, when you're out kayak fishing, 
Oh boy. You're not worried about- <laughs> Don't even get not, me started on the boats out there. I don't even want to hear it, dude. You're not worried about the sharks. You're worried, you're about, worried the, about the people. You're worried about the other boaters, 100%. especially yeah. on the weekends. So For sure. be seen. If you're going to get a boat like this in this color, you know, definitely get a safety flag, a light combination. Yeah, um, flare gun. Yeah, flare gun. Maybe it, an actual gun. I mean, air horns. <laughs> I mean, they make rechargeable air horns now. So anything that can keep you safe, because that's, you want to- Name of the game. You want to yeah. catch fish, but you want to come home. You want to come home. So. You want to cook them wahoo? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and then moving uh, closer to the back, um, the rudder assembly comes all the way through the through yep. the hull, and so it's easier to work on rather than like the old school way of like digging your arm in there, yeah. and trying to hustle um, somebody who knows how to do it. And then you guys are full service service for Hobies. Yep. Um, really, in any kayak, you guys will bring in your kayaks to. Um, Dylan or anyone here at the shop? Yeah, we've got a great crew, uh, knowledgeable staff, so we can do any upgrades that you need done. Um, you know, you come in, we can usually get you out the door that day with, <clears throat> you know, hatch upgrades and things like that. Do our best to accommodate. Yeah, I bought my only two Hobies from you. Yep. Yep. I had an Outback and a Revo 16. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've been coming here, I think, since 2011. It's, it's been a while, yeah, when, when they Accessories, shoot. kayaks, everything that, yeah. I won't really, I don't buy much other stuff from anywhere else. Um, so, I think, what else is there on this kayak that's special? I mean, um, really, that's, it's, it's just a lot for the money. You know, that's the main thing. And You also it, get a paddle. You do get a paddle. All Hobies come with everything yep. you need to use them. Paddle, drive, seat, and then some minor accessories that come with the boat. Like yeah. This. So, um, and there's really no need to like sort of bootleg DIY anything. Hobie makes everything really you need. If you're gonna put a live well on it, if you're gonna put your Lowrance finder on it, yeah. it's got a inset place for your transducer. Um, there's tracks for actual Hobie accessories. So you don't have to, you know, you're gonna spend two grand on a kayak. There's no need to put, you know, PVC pipe yeah. rod holders on it and all that weird stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it's cool, man. And you're more than welcome to come down and uh, try the kayak out. We are right on the water here in Dania Beach. So you can always give us a call, set up an appointment. We have a demo day once a month where it's free to the public to come try the kayaks out. So we urge you to come try these because, you know, you could be as good of a salesman as you want to be, but you got to try it out. Once you try it, you're going to want one. And that's, you know, that's why we love what we do here. So yeah, don't just fall in love with the pretty face. Get in one of these things. Get into the canal. There's a canal back here. There's a few docks. They have demo days. Um, come in and try one out. You can try all this stuff out um, before you buy it. Try it before you buy it. Yeah, right? don't buy dry. Yeah, don't <laughs> buy dry. Get wet first. Um, well, Dylan, um, it's been an awesome overview of the uh, Hobie Compass, and um, we'll look forward to doing more of these together, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Have a good day.